Okay, YouTube family friends, welcome back to another edition of Mustang Fanatic Productions Mechanic Editions. Uh, mechanic is a word that we used 20 years ago when I was a diesel mechanic, so we just called ourselves Mechanics instead of Mechanics. So this is an edition of Mustang Fanatics Mechanic Editions. So we work on and solve mechanical issues and problems. So enjoy. Hey YouTube family and friends, Rev. Rev it up, Mustang Fanatic Productions, Mechanic Edition. Today we're working with a 96 Toyota Camry, 2.2 liter. Bit of a Frankenstein car. Uh, the owner uh, doesn't care about what color interior parts and stuff I use, and exterior parts that I use. She just wants the windows to work and all the doors to open. And she wants a center console that's not busted up so we've been working with this for a while so uh, let me show you uh, what we're doing today so the driver's side window won't roll down and so I got a window regulator or a motor whatever you want to call it out of the uh, salvage yard and what happens with these if it's not the window switch or fuse then um, we're looking at the motor and a lot of times what happens these cables will break on either the lower cable or the upper cable will break and that way the window uh, won't roll down so let's put the kit in the ignition turn it over and let's show you the sound of a motor here you hear the motor trying to work but it doesn't work and the window doesn't go anywhere so what we got to do stick a screwdriver in here and in here somebody's already been inside here because these things bust easy that's why you got to stick a screwdriver in here the hardest part and pull outward like that and it comes loose There we go. There we go. And since it's already busted, uh, it's not a big deal. And the other one would stick up there if you had it. And then you just pull back on it and it comes out. It's hard to do stuff with one hand. Then you got to pop this out, pop that out, pop this out. And there's a screwdriver here. And then there's these little push pins right here that you push in and then you just take a screwdriver and slide them out. They're going to be underneath the door and all that. And that's all you got to do to uh, get this door panel off. So let me get that panel off. So with the bolt out here, 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 and the push pin out here, here and underneath side and with that door panel clip out you just pop up i already popped them up and then uh you just pick up on it and it comes off then under here the uh window switch you want to push in on the little pin and it comes out and that's it right there you push down and slide back and the door panel comes out of the way which we're gonna be taking that window switch out so we can use that window switch to make sure this new window work now we're gonna be taking the door handle off because um, the door opens this way and that way but the, the lock doesn't work so we're going to fix the fix the lock mechanism we'll get to that but anyway um you can see somebody's been in here before uh most of the plastic covering is gone so that's just going to make it a little bit easy for us to to get to this window now here's her uh window regulator you can see the top cable is loose but the bottom is busted so that's where the problem is on this regulator the bottom cable is busted 
So that's why this window uh, doesn't go up and down. So what we got to do on the, on the window track, we got to take loose the bolt here, bolt here, and bolt here. Those are 10 millimeter bolts. And there's three bolts on the window regulator. One, two, and three. Then once we get that loose, um, since this window really doesn't work, we're gonna try and force this window to come down some because there's two bolts that I could explain to you right here that goes into here and on here that line the window up. They're 10 millimeter bolts. So we gotta get those out before this can come out. So we'll get back to you then. Oh, and you wanna use tape to hold the window um, up because you got to bring the window down some in order to get to that Okay, so if you see I popped the switch off from here But I left it connected and I got the door panel switch out and I turned the ignition to on But like I said the bottom cable is broken and uh, Here's the If I can get it Well, it slid into another dimension down there, but that cable's toast. So we're gonna take this off and we got the motor out. We got the window down. We had to push it and hit the switch and push it down so we can get to these two screws right here. And this will take the window uh, off of the track. So what we, when we loosen these screws up, we want to pull the window back up and put tape to hold the window up. So we just slid the window up in the place and we got tape holding the window up. So now we can go ahead, this little pin right here, you push in and the window regulator part comes out. Can't do it with one hand. And then, um, since those are loose, you just pull this out of the track. And just turn it sideways. And it's going to come out just like that. I just got to loosen that up. So here's the broken one with the cable busted and you can see the cable uh, on the track it's all it's all chewed up on the track there and uh, it's all busted up so we got that out so installation is going to be reversed we're just going to take the new one and set it up in place line it up with these three bolt holes line the motor hole up and then we're going to um, plug it in make sure our window uh, comes we're gonna set our window down before we tighten anything up set the window down on the track put those bolts in and then we're going to test the operation of it make sure it goes up and down okay we took the tape off we let the window come down and if you look in here we got to line these bolts up with the bracket here and over here, uh, right there, the two 10 millimeter bolts that goes in there. All of them are 10 millimeter bolts, and we only use these, leave these brackets loose, these bolts loose, and the bolts for the motor loose until we get the window on track. So with the power on, I uh, rolled the window up some, so the bolts will be right here for me. And they're just 10 millimeter bolts, and um, there's no specific torque on them. As long as you get them tight, that's all. And uh, you just tighten them down. And, and that pretty much goes for all of them. You just tighten them down to they're tight. It doesn't have to be super tight, just as long as they're tight.
But this is the one you want to do first. You want to make sure the window's on track. And uh, it's on track. That's tight. That's tight. So now we can go ahead and, and tighten the rest of these bolts up. And then we want to get the motor. We want to tighten these bolts up. Okay, with everything nice and snug, all right, we're going to put our key in and uh, we're going to test operation of it up and down. Okay, so here we go, up. Window up, down, window down, window up. So we got a working window. So now all we do is uh, you will put your panel back, you clip this back inside here. It's just a push pin. And if we had this wrapper here, and if the glue wasn't whole, you would get, uh, you can use duct tape, masking tape to cover this area up, but uh, they don't even have that on here. So um, I got to do some door work to that door. So we're gonna leave this panel off. Now we want to show you how to replace door locks. And if you look up in there, I'm gonna try and point the screwdriver to where, see if I can, Get my screwdriver focused in. Well, I'm going to have to turn the camera that way. And let's see if we can focus on what I want to show you. Sorry for your vertical, vertigo. Okay, here's my screwdriver. That white tang right there, you lift up on that right there. And then this, it will clip out of place. And you push it all the way up. And that metal rod, you wanna pull out of the slot. Okay, you got that loose. And then it's two 10 millimeter bolts that loosens up the door handle and one is right there you're looking at it right there and the other one is through this hole in here that you want to loosen up and then the door handles will come loose okay once those screws are loose just lift up on it and then just kind of wiggle it to work its way out and it comes out. So, this is the metal rod. This is the rod that I was telling you about that you click up and then uh, you pull out. And it, when you put it back in, it just clicks back on here. These, these things, which goes bad on there, why the doors won't open. But the lock mechanism right here is missing the same thing, which is right here so which is right here it goes on that piece to work the lock mechanism so i got to get the other uh rod to get that so let me get that and show you what's going on so this is the piece that operates the door lock okay and if you look 
you see it has the tongue the little groove up top the bottom piece is missing so that easily slides off like that and the door doesn't work anymore or the door lock doesn't work anymore because that piece uh, doesn't lock in place anymore okay so um, so now let's move down to the bottom and we got the same thing you got the piece on this side off and the piece on that side on so it doesn't uh, operate and this comes loose and comes out so we got the new tabs so if you see here it's got both the tabs right there on that and when the, the locking point and then here's the other plastic mechanism that goes on the bottom you see the grooves so we have them so we have to install them in order for the door lock to work properly and so we take it off the bottom and take it off the top okay it was a challenge getting that little blue clip down into the hole and clipping it but I got it clipped now I'm going to do the door handle back on okay and that's the door lock clip we pushed it through and then pushed the prong onto their cable now we got to do the same thing when we get the door this inside we're going to push it onto this latch right here but this operates the door lock while putting the tang on the key switch I found it easy to work with the lock and turning the key and uh, that helped me to get it in position where I needed it to be. And then all we did is through there, bolted that back on, bolt that back on, and those clips I was telling you about, you just take them and fold them and clip them over that little, over the metal prong, and that keeps them in place. So now, all we gotta do is just put the door panel back on and uh, hook everything back up. We're done with this door.